Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jared at Three Seas Recreation. Really excited. This is a fully cabbed 2024 CF Moto U4 600. It's probably going to be the only one of the year that we build to this extent because the doors are extremely hard to get. So I want to give you guys a full walk around of this before it leaves. So let's jump into it. So in this video, we're not gonna go over the specifics of the differences on the U4 600s for 2024, because we already have videos on the channel that talk about those features. But this is gonna be all about the cab and the pricing. So let's start in the front. This one has the front bumper accessory. You can see it here, they are $239.99. And this is current MSRP as of uh, December of 2023. The winch comes standard, so we're not really gonna talk about the winch. You can see it down there. And then we did the full glass window. This is 749 for the window. You can see they're prepping for the windshield wiper kit that is not available yet, but hopefully soon. We have the vents, so we can let some air in. They're not huge vents, but they are there. This has the full door kit. This is CF Moto's door. The fit and finish is awesome all the way around. A nice tight fit. And we'll drive this around here at the end. There is one spot that I noticed this morning moving this one out. If you look out that little crack, that's about the only spot right there that I saw air coming in. If you look all the way around this cab, you don't see any other spots of that. We'll do more on the inside here in a second. You can reattach the mirrors to these doors. They're on there. This one's got the Nerf bars. They are $1.99 for the Nerf bars. They do a good job protecting the bottom plastic because as you're turning in the woods, you don't always see, you know, and then you're going to scrape up the door, especially the door package, because these doors um, are too grand for the set. So you want to protect your doors. I recommend the Nerf bars when you start doing that. This has that rear cargo box in it. I don't have the price of this on the sheet. We just threw this in there this morning. I think these are somewhere in like the four or 500 range. And you just open each side. And you got the little spring there to hold it open. This works great for us guys in the north. If it snows overnight, it's gonna protect whatever you have in here. So we do a lot of these cargo boxes. They're plug and play. You can take this little quick connect, it's out, and then the whole cargo box comes out. So it's that quick to remove it if you don't want it. We did the poly rear panel. So this is not glass. This is the um, HD poly in the back. And those are $2.99. This has their rear bumper kit. So the only side note that I have on the rear bumpers of the U4 600s is how far they stick out from the side of the cab. So just make note of that. If you're in the woods taking a tight tree, this will catch. So be really careful with that. And it does a good job. I like how it sticks out in the back though. That's the point of the bumper. And let's try to dump the dump box here. Okay, we can still fully dump the dump box with this bumper. You have to be really careful with the U-Force 1000 rear bumper because it will catch those tires if you're not careful. So you could still drive forward with a 600 bumper, no problem. Like if you're trying to like spread gravel or something, you can pull out from under it. Here are the doors on this side. And then again, the Nerf bars for the passenger side. It gives you a little bit of a step there. I don't know if it's necessary because it's not that high off the ground to begin with and then on the oh on the inside of the cab we got some stuff in there too so we did the headliner which is our first headliner kit this is going to help reduce some of the noise i'm just going to hop in here now so there's the headliner and then um if you look on the dash here we did the heated seat kit so let me take the key out of the way here heated seats are sorry my gimbal's going a little crazy here Heated seats are off, driver, and then driver and passenger. So a little bit different than the U-Force 1000. The U-Force 1000, the controls are all right here in front of the seat. Uh, there's little knockouts on the 1000. So for the 600, 
there's no high or low. Oh, there is. I apologize. Okay, so what we do is we put the key in. We can turn, let's just turn the uh, passenger on that way we can see over here. And there's going to be, they still have it. So there's the high, it's red, and then green should be low. Okay, so we still do have two modes for the 600. It's high and low. But to even get that to turn on, we have to turn our toggle on down here. So that's our heated seat option. And then this we did the Ice Crushers heater cab. We just did a video reviewing the heater cab kit. Really nice kit. Um, this is like a thousand bucks, eleven hundred bucks installed. It's like a six hundred dollar kit. And the heated seats, I forgot to tell you the price on those. It is four hundred bucks for the heated seats. So four hundred bucks here and 1100 here so the way that this machine sits here at the dealership without that cargo box included is around 16.2 and right now you got to be careful talking rebates but right now cf moto has a thousand dollars off of these so you're like 15 grand for all of this so you get so much value with the cf moto stuff and again this is the u4 600 power steering is standard and the main roof is standard as well not including the headliner so headliner is nice it gives you the cutouts for the knockouts here um, and again oh there's like a little crack there so there's a couple of spots on these cabs that if you're trying to make it perfectly airtight you can do that um, I think I should drive it for you guys now because uh, just the noise inside the cab people are always curious I hope it doesn't mess with the audio too much because um, right now it's idling and it's not bad I think this headliner will help over time like as it gets more speed it'll cut down on the vibration noise and so we'll just throw over in uh, low range here and the driveway's frozen this morning so I don't think it's horrible but you're probably not going to carry a conversation the whole day with a passenger inside the cab no, it won't let me go over four miles an hour because I don't have my seatbelt on all right, let's try this again. So it's not horrible, but um, I mean, we live up north here. Let's turn the heater on just to give you an idea of what that sounds like. This is high, so we turned it on high. That doesn't really affect the overall noise at all. Like I can still talk fine. It's got the two defrost vents and it's got two vents down here. I love this kit. Oh, you can see how it's blowing the paper. Like see right here, it's going to take care of the, the passenger and then the driver one comes out right here. So. Um, you're definitely going to stay warm. It's going to take care of the driver and then low it still puts, you can see low is still rip on the paper. So I think that's a really good kit. Check out that video on our channel and um, we can just try high range on the way back down. So it's not, it's not bad. Like once you get up to speed, it's not too vibrating. And we'll park it here. So again, guys, this video is not about the U4 600 features for 2024, because I do a lot of YouTube videos and we already talked about those features, like the two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, winch, power steering, arch day arms, all that stuff is talked more in depth in our 2024 review video. I just wanted to give you guys an idea if you're looking for a full cab for one, here's what it would cost roughly. It's right around 16 grand, give or take rebates, and what other extras you add, like that cargo box is not included. So probably 16.5 the way it sits. Again, uh, we're three seas recreation, we're in Western New York. We also have 1000s fully loaded as well. So if you want anything, we're right off the expressway, we're easy to get to. Enjoy the ride and we'll see you on the trail.